Hello and welcome. Uh, uh, you're here probably because you know that I'm going to uh, describe my new program, which is a group coaching program for those in grief called Moving Forward in Grief. Uh, but first, uh, I would like to tell a story about a client of mine named Gail, and Gail has given me permission to share this with you. Gail had been married for more than 50 years to her husband, Phil, when he had a sudden death. Not only had they been partners in marriage, but they were partners in art. Gail was absolutely devastated, uh, as I'm sure you are in your loss, whatever your loss has been. They had worked side by side together for their entire married lives, and, sh and she was just feeling as though her life was turned upside down. To make matters even more complicated, Gail was the primary caregiver for her mother. So it took Gail many, many months to begin to pull the pieces back together after the loss of her husband, her partnership with him on many levels, and of course, the loss of her mother. But she did, she did touch her heart. And one of the things that's happened, she has begun to make new friends and new connections and recognize uh, who she is again. She recently went to Europe and sent me slides of a trip that she'd gone uh, to do a sketching trip with a group of complete strangers. And she made a connection with them and with herself and she just had a beautiful time. When she sent me the slides and the report of her trip, I, I just watched the little film and, and I just wept with tears of joy. So happy for her. So that's Gail's story. Uh, and, but as you all know, grief is so different for each of us. It shifts and changes every day like sand under our feet. In the beginning, in the early stages of grief, it's usually very common that, that we just feel raw, that our emotions are raw, and we certainly should not be making any choices, never mind booking a trip to Europe. So we just need time. But after time goes by, we may find ourselves longing for uh, a reconnection to ourselves, thinking, who am I? What's next for me? And of course, that does not mean letting go of grief. But as we begin to explore uh, later on in our stage of grief, this, this idea that we want to move forward, we might feel a, a lack of confidence. Uh, we don't know really which way to turn. Sometimes we even feel guilty if we were to move forward. We need a sounding board and we need a way to dip our toe in where we feel safe and having and have others listen to us and support us in our choices, or maybe even redirect and say, hey, maybe it's down the road that way. And that's what this program is all about. It begins on March 15th. Uh, we will be meeting virtually. It's going to be a very small group. It is filling already, uh, but we will not have any more than eight people. And each week we will all have a chance to share. People will be individually coached with other members looking on so that we can get personalized, you will get personalized attention by me and, and, and the group. And then we hold each other accountable in a very gentle way uh, to, uh, to do the maybe tiny action step that you said you would do. And did you do it next week? Well, you know, maybe you didn't but uh, you, you feel in a group like this of like-minded others, full support to support you exactly where you're at in your journey. And sometimes being in a group of like-minded others can be the secret ingredient to um, feeling safe and taking steps toward, uh, you know, who am I? What do I want next in my life? So if this resonates with you at all, uh, please, I am inviting you to a phone call so that we can talk about it and make sure 
that um, that it's the right move for you because it's not right for everybody. Uh, you know, grief is not all of who we are. Grief is what we feel and it changes and, and remolds and uh, we wrap ourselves around grief instead of grief, grief dropping away. It, we just make a new connection with it. Of course, Gail, you know, uh, decided at some point to touch her own heart with kindness, to dip her toe into her essence, like, who am I without, uh, in my new life? What could it be like? And we all have that opportunity. We can all touch our hearts with kindness. And I think that's a lot of what is so important for us to understand that grief is about love, but we shouldn't leave ourselves behind. So I look forward uh, to having you in the group if it feels right for you. And I thank you for watching.